senior number 19, Scott Warner, one of the best in the country at running back kicks. So it's difficult to kick it away from either man, really. You would think that they would like to keep it away from Walker, but not necessarily, as Brian Clark puts it in the air toward Walker. From the 7 to the 10 to the 15 and dumped at the 17-yard line. First and 10-yard line. Just the start of things. First quarter at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville as Walker sweeps to the right. Gets outside the 35. Look out. He's past midfield and he's got a blocker. Cuts to the inside. Herschel Walker. There he goes again. Georgia on the board. Rex Robinson seeks his 91st consecutive extra point. And that string continues. And with 13.09 from the 28-yard line. Jones, the sole running back. Off the play fake. He's setting up, throwing, and it's picked off at the 40-yard line. The deflected pass, and the Bulldogs are right back in business at the Florida 41. Mike Fisher. Making the interception, number 30, Mac Buckfalo at quarterback, with Walker in the eye, here he comes to the left side, and Walker is dumped at the 36-yard line by Kyle. Slot right, Walker in the eye back, comes to the short side of the field, and just pulls over a man to get the first down to the 30-yard line. Vito Mc... Second down and six. Georgia at the Florida 26, and Georgia leading seven to nothing. And Buck put it up for the first time today to the 23-yard line, and the ball is loose there. On the far side, and Florida recovers. So the Gators get the break they need after what... The running back is Jones. Peace looking to throw and then keeping. Getting to the outside and stepping out of bounds at the 45-yard. Quarterback sneaking. Again, Jones is the sole back, number 30. And Peace will keep it himself and burrows for the first down. Now, one thing that caught the Georgia 49-yard line. Peace back to throw. Over the middle, man open at the 30-yard line and the first down to Tyrone Young, number 10. Jeff Hip. 7.20 to go in the quarter. Georgia leading 7-0. Peace on a deep drop, trying to set up the screen, going to Jones, but he had no blockers out in front. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line after a minimal game. 14 this year, setting up a 40-yard attempt at an angle to the right, and the kick will be no good. It is good. I beg your pardon. He hit a wobbler. That... Second down, eight. Walker slips a couple of tackles, gets out to close to the 21-yard line where it'll be third down and two. Reach the 100 mark. Seven carries, 100 yards, sixth time this season for him. But Florida comes up with a big play. Ron Coleman, number 92. Maybe. Peace, rolling out and then throwing out to the 46 yard line, incomplete. Intended for Spencer Jackson. On third and ten, they have Lindsey Scott wide left, Amp Arnold wide to the right, the play fake to Walker, going straight over the middle for Lindsey Scott. He's open at the 45 of Florida, and a first down at the 44-yard line. The Florida 45-yard line, second down and ten, as Buck Ballou, who's three for three, rolls to his right, then keeps, and Ballou gets to the 34-yard line and close to a first down. At the 20-yard line, Walker, and they stand him up at the 17 after a gain of close a minute into the second period. Ballou throwing and complete for the touchdown to Ronnie Stewart who turned around and there's a flag down. Flag down back at the 17-yard line as Stewart goes in for the score. But let's see what we've got. It's Rex Robinson, his 92nd consecutive extra point. And Georgia's back up on top by 11 now. 13-30, 14-3, early second quarter. Peace, under a lot of pressure, and a fumble. And we'll wait for the signal. It's Georgia. Eddie Weaver, number 61, was the man who got there to recover it. Of the moment now, counting today's turnovers. Third and four. 
Ballou throwing. Intercepted at the seven yard line. Back to the 15, to the 20, and out to the 30 yard line. So Florida gets the break they need as Ivory Curry, number 26, turns in a big play. Full running back. Peace throwing out to the 45 yard line to Tyrone Young. Time on third down and eight from the 49 yard line. Young goes in motion. Peace throwing to the near side, complete to the 40 yard line, and a first down to the 35 as Chris Welton made the putting his first two years, and he's using it. Third and 25. 9.39 left in the half. Good protection this time and sets it up and throws over the middle to James Jones, who gets down to the 37 yard line. And it will be fourth down and back. Now drops back. Still, they're going to use motion on a punting situation. And they fake the punt. Peace takes the snap and then throws to the 31 yard line incomplete. John L. Brown, number 14, was the intent of the game right now. Yeah. That's the last thing Georgia Tech needed That's was right. a visit from the Irish. Through the middle, ball is loose, and Florida has it at the 46 yard line. So two teams that have not been turning the ball over very often this season. Double slot and send Young in motion to the left this time. Peace on the reverse to Collinsworth. He has some space. The 45, the 40, and to the 33-yard line where Mike Fisher quarterback at Florida. First down, 34-yard line. Through the middle and a hole opening up for Jones who gets down to the 20. Two yard line. Scott Werner and ten at the 22 yard line. Peace is now eight out of 17 for 91 yards. The quick out complete to the 15 yard line to Collinsworth, and he gets to the nine. Jeff Hip. Peace throwing it up for Collinsworth. Touchdown. Well, you saw two men matched up there who are going to make some All-America teams. Collinsworth, the wide receiver. Werner, who hasn't missed an extra point this year. He's 19 for 19. And add another. So 14, Florida 10. Cut him out. You can always hope it's a typo. Third and eight from the 40-yard line. Ballou. Scrambling, looking for the first down now, has it, and gets to the Florida 44-yard line. Look at there. From the 45, Ballou, going deep, looking for Lindsey Scott, and it is picked off at the 21-yard line. Vito McKeever, number 36. Be back with today's halftime activities after this message about an upcoming show on ABC and a word from our 45-yard line. Chuck Jones in motion. And they pitch it to Walker. Herschel gets the first down as he moves to the 48-yard line. Did it on his own. Georgia leading 14-10. Walker will swing it back the other way, trying to get to the outside. And Walker down the sidelines gets bumped out of bounds at the 33. Kyle Knight. Knight. First down, Georgia at the 33-yard line. Pitches to Walker again. And he gets down to the 27-yard line. Val Brown made helping to spring him that time. Second down and a long four. And Ballou pitching it to Walker. Walker inside the 20, and down he goes at about the 12-yard line. Tim Groves made the tackle. When you Second down and 11. Ballou. Gets to about the eight-yard line, where Mike Clark makes the stop. The slot to the right. Scott outside him. Ballou looking that way. Buck going to the end zone with it. And incomplete. Broken up by Ivory Curry. Six by Tony Franklin of Texas A&M. And the kick is good. So he is three shy of Franklin with two and a half games still left on Georgia's schedule. 24-yard. Double slot again. Peace pitching it. And after the 34-yard line, Calvin Davis. It was all Davis could do to make sure he had control.
First down for Georgia from the 48-yard line. Walker slipping to the outside. Puts his head down and picks up about five more yards after he was 204 yards on 29 carries. Give it to the fullback, Jimmy Womack, and another penalty marker is down at the 32-yard line. Well, so watch out. First down from the 18-yard line. Walker looking inside. There goes Herschel, and he gets the first down and nearly the touchdown. Just stopped at the four by Fernando Jackson. Second and goal from the three-yard line. Walker looking for room, puts his head down, and they stop him again, this time at the two-yard line. Fernando Jackson made the stop. For a little Stewart in motion. Ballou trying to get back, and he stopped again. It's David Little, number 51, who stops Ballou. Tried to run, couldn't make it. Rex Robinson should be an easy one for him, 20-yard field goal, and no problem. So the clock stopped with 3.58 remaining in the third quarter at Jacksonville. It's Georgia 20 and Florida 10. We'll be right back. First down from the 19-yard line. Tyrone Young goes in motion. He's throwing. Finds Young. And they run him out of bounds at the 29-yard line. 20 to 10. So with LSU down by two touchdowns, Bulldogs 15 minutes away from going into first place in the SEC as we start the fourth quarter. Second down and five for Florida from their 35-yard line. Peace going deep. Now the right sideline nearly intercepted and incomplete. Jeff Hip came that close to picking up it. Peace, quick in to Young. Breaks a tackle and made the one away. He's got one man to beat. Cuts back in. And Werner gets him at the 11-yard line. 54 yards and first and 10 from just outside the 10 and it's Jones and he's in for the touchdown he wants to set up a game winning field goal if he can Mason Young in motion. Peace has a man open, and they get the two. Tyrone Young, number 10, who made the big play on this drive and goes in for the two-point conversion. Watch the pattern there for Florida. 20 to 18, Georgia. A knee injury in the first half. Third and seven, it's Walker again, and they stop him at the 35-yard line. And the Florida part is in eight. Gators from the 41-yard line. Young moving again. Peace having a lot of trouble here, but scrambles out and throws as a man open at the 48-yard line. And complete there to Chris Collinsworth. Second and eight at the Georgia 49-yard line. Peace going complete to the 30-yard line. Tyrone Young. Scott Werner made the catch. Come up. Third down, a long four for Florida. Peace throwing, and it's knocked down. Incomplete. The play made by Nate Taylor, number 47, one of the linebackers, Frank. Yes, Tate hit Nate. 40 yard attempt, they'll spot it at the 30 yard line. Snap is good, the kick is long enough, the kick is good. The Florida Gators, who did not win a game in 1979. Here, and they have learned to live and want to win desperately. Second and 17, Ballou going deep, looking for Jones, and it's knocked away, incomplete. Chuck Jones, the intended receiver, Tim Groves, play for the Gators here as they try to keep possession. And let's see what Peace does. He throws it quick into Young, and Young has the first down to the 44-yard line. <laughs> From the 48-yard line. Peace looking, going to the 38 and incomplete. At the 38, I do believe, or are they going to call it complete in the fumble out of bounds? That's what they're going to call it. He made it. 
the catch and watching in the other fellow's backyard helps even up the ball game. Third down, eight. Florida at the 36-yard line. James Jones and Doug Kellum are the running backs. And Peace will get racked up back at the 40-yard line. Tim Crow was the man. Back third down on the eight. In trouble. Got a block behind him. Going to throw and a run. Complete to the 25. To the 30. Lindsey's got 35-40. Lindsey's got 45, 50, 45, 40, run, Lindsey, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5, Lindsey stop, Lindsey stop, Lindsey stop. Well, I can't believe it, 92 yards and Lindsey really got in a foot race, I broke my chair, I came right through a chair, a metal steel chair with about a five inch cushion, I broke it, the booth came apart, the stadium, well, the stadium fell down. Now they do have to renovate this thing. They'll have to rebuild it now. <laughs> I, this, is, this is incredible. Georgia had just taken his last time out to set up this two-point conversion attempt. Ballou throwing into the end zone and overshooting the intended receiver, Scott. But that may be academic. We'll see. Six for 286 yards today. First down from the 36-yard line. Over the middle, and intercepted at the 45-yard line by Mike Fisher, and he gets to the 36, and that should wrap it up. The problem with Florida right now is they don't have a timeout. They can't stop the clock. So Ballou simply falls on it, and that's going to do it. They do not have to run another play. Meanwhile, run down the top ten quickly. Late in the fourth, Georgia Tech leading Notre Dame. A stunner there. As time expires here in Jacksonville. And this storied rivalry. They've got another chapter that it's going to take several pages to cover when they write about this one.